previously on Sim Settlements 2 Zombie Apocalypse Survival, we supported our wife's decision to get murdered. Do it. Fulfill your destiny. Do it. Fueled by the rage that we didn't get to do it ourselves, we shot the stranger instead. Oh shit! My dude. After taking out our anger, we tried to help Preston, but I wouldn't listen. You need to listen to me. I'm right fucking here, Preston! You need to listen to me. With our moral compass absent, we decided to listen to our demon instead. After rage and slaughter, we had a chat with the Minutemen. What happens now? Bullshit. Following Concord, we decided to go home, become a necromancer, and raise dead. Oh shit, well, we, gr we grew some corpses! Nice. Apparently the local raiders didn't like us practicing dark magic, so they sent their shit as warriors to say hello. Paul, you are the chosen warrior because you're the first person I fucking saw. Take the M14, do God's work. When suddenly, freedom. They are gonna bury what's left of you in a soup can! I'm not a hundred percent sure. I might have shot a settler. So if you notice a dead settler on the floor, we're not gonna talk about it. After building enough homes, farms, and workstations, we finally got the quest to go see the stranger again. Paul. Oh, thank goodness you're here. Sensor thing. ASAM fella. I'll go see him immediately. So after sleeping, that's what we're gonna go do. Welcome to episode two. Enjoy. Oh, I didn't move the cam bench. Come hither, cam bench. Now I should be able to make the the vest. It only costs one cloth. That's that's busted. Um. So what what we'll do? It says it's worth one thousand two hundred and fifty. We'll just have to pay 1,250 caps for it. I think that's fair. We're a bit off, but it shouldn't take too long. Let's go see what the stranger wants. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a really nice scope. Two uh, headshots is not half bad. Actually, I'm, I'm before I head to the stranger, I'm gonna gonna grab a bunch of crap from here and run it back to sanctuary because I keep I keep not doing that. There should be a bunch of uh, the crafting supplies. Yeah, I'll move this up there too. I keep not doing that as well. Who wants to walk all the way? So far to walk. Look how slow this is. Hopefully I have enough stuff to, to mod out the M14. I want to put some kind of sight on it. Perfect. Beautiful. We don't need anything more then, because I want to be able to use the M14 inside and outside. Uh, four times would be too much for indoors. I don't know how useful that will be, but... We'll want it at some point, so might as well stick it on now. Ah, oh, I fucking love it. Again, I'm gonna keep keep like fanboying over this. Like, love see for his cubs, man. Hello, stranger. What are we doing then? Give it to me. 
Hi. Oh, hey there. Didn't expect to be seeing you again. The ASAMs, is it? That's why I'm here. What else do you have? Why is a vault dweller from the past bothering with settlements and ASAMs? Blood bullets and money, all the way. Oh. Well, guess that explains why you're so serious about the settlement stuff. <gasps> Raiders! <laughs> Hurry! Raiders again? I'm sick of those guys. Taking hostages, please! Well, don't you worry, Slick. I got your back. Come on, get the lid out and move before somebody gets killed. Well, shit. I mean, you heard the man. I, my hands are tied here. I have to. Um, what? Ow? I need a Spider-Man band-aid. It's danger. Like, what the fuck do they have? That's just danger. I'm kind of a bit scared. I don't want to die. Because that would cost like 250 caps. Did I get him? I guess so, because the quest came out. Check out loot and then um check in with the stranger. Yeah, we we don't talk about that. That could have gone better. Dude, shut He's up, we don't now. talk about that. What if I were to tell you? We've only scratched the surface. So what I propose is a partnership. All right. I'm in. <laughs> Hell yeah! What now? Earlier, you showed an interest in getting more out of ASAMs. Then I know where to find the equipment we'd need. However, there is a small problem. Let me guess. Raiders again? <laughs> Sharp as a tack. You think you'd be up for that? Taking on a raider stronghold? Don't worry. I'll help you deal with these raiders. Well, all right. Before we go there, I've got a small cache of gear hidden nearby, Olivia. It's probably still there. Always murder. I reckon Stranger is the one who loves the blood and the money and all that. And But he's just working through me to make himself feel better about it. Yeah, it's a bit late to go to Olivia. What we're going to do is head back to Sanctuary and drop off all the, uh, the loot we just got. It's just basic stuff like the leather they're in. A couple of M14s, stick it in the armory box. We'll have to find a broom. Yeah, it's a good collection. Good uh, few M14s. I should actually probably gear someone up. You have a new Can chosen a one, Sturgis. I give a few of the M14. And the shit leather armor. You'll do God's work. Before heading to Olivia Station, we're gonna change the time scale. Default is 1 minute equals 20 fallout minutes. We're gonna change it to 1 minute, it's 15 fallout minutes. Because we're listening to every conversation in full, we're losing out on a lot of time. It feels like the days are super short. I can't get anything done. Alright, let's go murder some uh, raiders. Onwards! I hear gunshots. It only scared me a little bit. Oh, fuck off. Oh, that was pretty clean.
I can't see him. Just spraying and praying. There we go. The all this foliage and all this grass stuff looks great, but it, uh, they can't see. Just give me a second here. Looks like it's all still here. How do you like the headwear? Pretty cunning, don't you think? You look absolutely fabulous. Well, I know it's a flattering color, but fabulous? Kind of feel bad with what you're stuck with now. Here, this is for you. Nice. I mean, it's just... I'll put it on to make him feel better. That actually looks kind of cool. It'll do. Wait up! I'm gonna hold back. Scout the area for nasties. I'll let you deal with the raiders directly outside Olivia. Once you're done taking out the trash, I'll meet you at station's entrance. Sounds like a plan. All the raiders died to um ghouls and the morads. Get fucked. Yeah, we're sleeping and head inside in the morning. Right. A little bit scared of going in here. Because I'm pretty sure someone has a minigun. Um, that's not cool. Minigun goes a burr. Lucky that none of them are actually shooting me. That's cool. Still at the stage where people mainly have pipe guns, which are kind of crap. Oh, there she is. There's the minigun. We're gonna jet this up. There we go. Fuck you. Wait, what the fuck? I'd rather you put uh, From Concord Hardware, delivery by Boston Direct, courtesy of sender K.S. Magnuson, item one industrial sized Rob Crow Com Hub unit. Com Hub? That must be the ACM equipment we're here for. 
Well, I fucking hope and so. I think it's stored behind that door up ahead. Just need to hit the last few keys on the terminal and... Hey, presto! <laughs> there we are. All right. That's like probably massive overkill because bullets already bullets are good enough. I don't know when you would need a a fat man. Why don't you tell me what's so interesting about this? Hmm? Oh, all right. Take a look. Ship label reads from Concord Hardware. This is definitely the equipment we're here for. Best as I understand it, this thing connects to the sensors somehow, allowing them to do more stuff. But I wouldn't really know how it does that until I turn it on. Although looking at it, it doesn't look like time's been too kind to this old gal. So what now? Now I suppose I lug this thing back to the hardware store. If you think you might need more sensors, there may be some not too far from here. I'll contact you once I've looked over the comm hub. Hopefully by then I should have some idea of how it works. Until then, stay safe out there, all right? Great work today. Very cool. All right. That's kind of neat. Um, I guess I have time. Let's pick up all the loot I can carry. I want inspirational, so my companions take less damage. So I need more charisma. Yeah, 3% less damage per point of charisma. That's pretty good. 100 bullets, that's pretty good. And we're overweight. Fucking damn it. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll put the bullets back. Come back for them. Oh yeah, with carry weight, once you become overweight, you get a penalty to your endurance. Of course, endurance affects carry weight, so you have to take things out and put them back in. Finally, I've been wanting a 38 PPK forever. Yeah, I wanted to save for um, the vest, the armored vest, but I think it's going to be way better for now. Just to um, we're gonna we're gonna buy a companion with the FCOM mod thing. You can have up to nine of them. Now there's a few special rules, which I'll explain. Yeah, map that, and we should be good. Okay. Rule is, when we're buying a companion, we have to buy the gunner and the one that's 250, the, the uh, rifleman. They come with gear. That gear, we get rid of. And we have to give them gear. Yeah, gunner, rifleman. Yep, and then it kind of spawns them in near you. You gotta go pick them up. There you are. Let's fucking go. Well, um, we'll put all the stuff he has on a and a corpse so it despawns. Come on, bruv. Oh yeah, perks. So because of true damage, we don't use any of the damage perks. That wouldn't be balanced. They'll be doing double damage. We can take accuracy though, and hey. the armor pen. So you give me all of your stuff. And we put the stuff on the corpse so it despawns. And then Hold we'll give him some gear. Yeah, that'll do. Well, we'll grab some shit lever armor from inside. Also, it means we can use them like a mule. They do have a carry weight limit, but we can increase that with bags and stuff. They're also not busted. They're just like a normal gunner. They have about 100 health. They will get dropped all the time. Hey. It's super annoying, but it's really cool. Also, no heavy weapons for them. Because they have unlimited ammo. And that would be far too easy. Give them stim packs too, because NPCs use items. It's a mod that I have. They will use stim packs hey. to heal themselves. Then, last but not least, 
give him a nickname. Roach it is. This man is ready for combat. He's gonna do so good. Oh, an army helmet. Army helmets are great, aren't they? Oh yeah, that's a locket they want. Very cool. Good Last mistake. Yeah, headless zombies are a little annoying, but it's a feature. That's why you don't hey. screw with the gunner. There you are. This is a slightly better backpack. It's uh, plus 30. I think ours was plus 10. Gives minus 1 agility, though. Yeah, um, let's head back to Sanctuary. Hey, everyone. That's the end of episode 2. Stuff and things have happened, yes, indeed. We got our first companion, which is really neat. Can't wait to have more. If you're interested in seeing what more companions and actually like later game having gear, check out the uh, thing in top right. Next episode, I think it's a bunch of building stuff. So until then, stay awesome, and I'll see everyone next time. Thanks, guys.